All right, so last class we were working on a one-string melody, and on a one-string melody, we were using our right hand to pluck a string. A lot of us were plucking with our thumbs. Um, for last class, it wasn't a big stress about what we plucked with. Some of us were using index and middle. Um, but for our introductory lesson, plucking could be with any finger you preferred. So the left hand would press a button or press a fret over here, and the right hand would pluck the string. The easiest one we looked at was on string two, and it was Jaws. And the Jaws was the same as the beginning of what little kid song? Baby Shark. Baby Shark, yes. Um, today we're going to look at something completely different. Today we're going to be looking at chords. With a chord, we want to hear more than one string at a time. Now, when we get to more advanced chords, sometimes we're going to want to hear just two strings or three strings. But for beginner chords, we're going to strum all of the strings. The correct strumming technique on ukulele is to take the pointer finger and gently brush it across all four strings. But anyone that's ever played guitar is going to have the urge to use their thumb. I will not penalize you for using your thumb because I play a lot of guitar, which means sometimes I use my thumb too. Uh, and you're going to notice even professionals that we watch, and we're going to um, see a video later of Iz, who's one of the most famous ukulele players ever, and we'll even see Iz switching back and forth between the thumb and the pointer finger. But the true technique would be to do the index finger, the pointer finger. So today we're going to learn the C chord, which is going to have... I'll go around and show you all in a moment, our third fret of string one. And if you're playing here at school, that's where there's a red dot. Press and hold that, and that's going to make our C chord. And we're going to do several songs today that we can play with just the C chord. All right, I'm going to stop recording and go show the people up close what I just showed you.